Namaste Kevin, welcome to my channel. For those who are brand new here and of course stumbled across me perhaps on YouTube, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch and thank you for tuning in to watch my brand new spell video. In today's video we're going to go through a super simple but really gorgeous and powerful Sarwin spell. So Sarwin is a really gorgeous time of the year, it is known as the Witch's New Year as this is a time that we move away from the light of the summer and we move into these darker months, a time of reflection, a time of healing and a time of spirituality. So during Sarwin, this is a time when the veil is at its thinnest and this is a time when our third eye is open. We start to really draw in to that spiritual side, that witchcraft practice and we really start to feel the power of our magic and of our energies. So in today's spell, we're going to go through a super simple but really beautiful fire cleansing spell. Now in this spell we are going to burn away anything that we do not want to keep, anything that's been weighing us down or holding us back and we're going to let it go. We don't need it in our space, most especially during these darker months. We want to reflect on where we've gone, where we're going and where we are right now. So the spell's going to pop up on the screen in the moment and before it comes up just a reminder that if you want to join the coven just subscribe to my little channel and help this coven to grow, like this video, all that kind of YouTube jazz. But when you're ready, Coven, let's fire cleanse and let's celebrate Sarwin together. Okay, my loves, we begin today's spell by simply lighting our little candle. This one took absolute ages to light. And then once it's lit, <laughs> we're going to sage our space just to clear and cleanse the energy in the room. Obviously, as we are working with a cleansing spell, we want to make sure that the energy we bring in is true, it's honest, and it's pure. After this, you're going to write yourselves three things that you want to release during this Sarwin holiday. So I like to make sure I'm very clear with what I'm intending to release, really writing it down with clarity, thinking about it with clarity and writing with as much detail as I possibly can. And remember, we are working with the threefold law today that what we send out, we get three times back. So make sure when you're writing, you're not coming in with any negativity, any kind of resentment against someone. If it's a situation that's bothering you, you know, make it clear that you're asking for freedom, for peace of mind, etc., rather than sending out bad vibes to someone physically. And once you've written your intentions, let's grab our heat proof dish. And at the bottom of our heat proof dish, we're going to add a layer of protection. So either working with black salt, kind of classic sea salt, or even powdered egg whites, anything that you use a lot in your magical practice. Before we sage once more, so saging our intentions, again, making sure that they're going out to the universe with clarity and with positivity. From here, we take our time and burn each one, repeating with every burning, as it is so, I let it go. As it is so, I let it go. Send it out to universe, feel it being lifted from your heart, from the shoulders, feel that freedom around you, in your sacred space, in your energy and in your mind. And I like to finish this spell with pouring a little bit of purified water. So this is actually collected rainwater that I've charged in the new moon. Pouring it on top of the ashes, I just feel like it gives that cleansing. It starts to bring in those healing elements and it really kind of helps seal what this spell is. This is a fire cleansing spell. So using the balance of fire and water to help heal our hearts and heal our minds. You can let the candle burn out or you can blow it out here, sealing that spell, feeling cleansed, feeling restored and feeling absolutely balanced, witches. Thank 
you so much guys for tuning in and for watching my brand new video today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please support The Coven, please support my channel by subscribing, like, comment, all those kind of things. And if you want to keep up with my journey both as a yoga teacher and as a practicing witch, then you can find me on Instagram under the handle at the yogi witch. But thanking you so much for joining me today. Just a reminder that as well as this Sarwin spell, I also have a Sarwin, oh this fly flow, coming onto my channel on the 29th of October, so keep an eye out for that. But thanking you so much my darlings from the bottom of my heart, sending so much love, sending so much magic and Sarwin blessings. Thank you.